Hey all, I'm starting this uh, video vlog to kind of document my journey in learning Unity. So I started a complete C-sharp Unity game developer 2D from Ben Tristam and Rick Davidson. And this I started actually last year, but then I interrupted and now I've got back into it since like um, three weeks or something like that. And I finished the laser defender part. So I will say that I'm kind of half through the course, which is very big indeed. And uh, then I started to build my own game and it makes a lot of fun. And I wanted to make this uh, vlog to kind of um, motivate myself to go on with it and also to show to everybody that could be interested uh, how am I building my own game as a super beginner Unity developer. So I got actually years long experience in computer graphics programming uh, using other languages and other environments. And I was already exposed to object oriented programming. So I'm not super beginner with programming in general and computer graphics, but I'm definitely Unity beginner. So let me show you what I come up so far. It's a very simple game. I, I spent into it so far like seven hours or something like that. And uh, that's what I've got. So there are some planes coming in and shooting. Oh, by the way, I'm using one of Kenny's packs uh, for free. So I will put the link in the description where to get uh, the packages from Kenny's. It's really cool. I discovered it through the Rick Davidson course. And uh, yeah, so that's what I've got. So there are these cannons that you can place with your mouse. There are these planes spawning in and shooting at the cannons. And then every time they shoot, there appears these little flames, which are also kind of animated. The cannons also change color according to how much they are hurt. And actually the planes don't change color at the moment. The cannons uh, and the airplanes have a certain amount of life, of course. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, what I will implement next. A system to track how much gold you have and uh, um, every time you place a cannon this gold will be reduced and then there will be another structure that we, you can place which will increase your gold uh, with time so kind of a minor thing then i would like to implement that the cannons turn to the airplanes and shoot directly at them instead of just shooting straight up and i think i will do the same thing for the for the airplanes they will not directly turn but they will shoot to the cannons instead of just sh uh, shooting directly down. And then there will be also a score to take track of how many airplanes manage to pass through, so the game will make a bit more sense. Let me go a bit through how the game works uh, from a programming standpoint. There is a cannon class which is responsible for the cannon. There is a cannon uh, spawner class which is responsible to place the cannons where you when you click with the mouse. Then there is a damage dealer class which is basically just uh, attached to the projectile to know how much damage they make. Then there is a damage sprite class which is attached both to the airplanes and to the cannons. Then there is the enemy class, there is the enemy puffing class, because this is actually something that I implemented based on the complex C, C Sharp Unity game course, which basically means that you have uh, some puffs that this airplane will follow and uh, they will spawn at certain points along those puffs. Great, then there is the enemy spawner class, which is responsible to make the enemy spawn. There is the shredder, which is basically just a... Uh, um, Box Collider 2D, which destroyed um, the projectiles that pass through the, the wall scene. And there is a way config to configure it again the, the waves of those planes, or again something from the course. But I, I think I will replace this in the future with, uh, with something that doesn't require so much manual adjustment as this system. Okay, great. So as I said, I will keep those videos going uh, mostly as a way to document my progresses and motivate myself into going on and learning more about Unity, which I like very much. See you soon in the next video. Ciao.